Akam, I understand the 2013 Global Assignment Policy and Practices Survey, now in its 15th year, and also known as the GAP Survey, is uh, now out. Uh, great, uh, great insights in this year's survey. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about it. Sure thing. Let me just say a few words about the survey in general. The Global Assignment Policies and Practices Survey uh, has this year about 600 participants, organizations who participated in the survey. Uh, about 60% of the organizations are f headquartered in the United States. 40% of them are headquartered overseas, so it's truly a global survey. It provides global mobility managers with great benchmark information on policies, on operational practices and processes. Uh, really has some fascinating results this year. There's a ton of stuff in there. Uh, maybe we can cover two or three of the uh, highlights that may be of most interest to mm -hmm. program managers and maybe those that also are following some of the bigger trends we're seeing. Sure thing. Uh, cost, always an important issue for mobility as well as for everybody in the business. Uh, availability of data is an up and coming trend. And then something that sort of is, is interesting to observe over time is the definition of family. So let's start with cost. Okay. Cost obviously very tangible, uh, very important to program managers and the business partners. Um, organizations have started to look at pro, uh, global mobility policies and not necessarily to cut benefits, but really to provide more flexible policies that allow businesses to really address their needs. So as an example, in the past, organizations typically had long-term and short-term policies. So one policy up to three years, the other policy up to 12 months. Uh, nowadays, organizations realize this really doesn't cover all the important aspects of business anymore and doesn't really help the business needs. Um, we still have long and short-term policies, but organizations really focus now on, for example, commuter policies. The extended business travel is obviously a very important topic that sure. need to be addressed. Um, and then other policy programs that allow to be more focused on the type of assignment and type of employee that's being sent on an overseas assignment. So the types of policies are, are, are driving a, a need to be more efficient around cost overall in the absolute. Um, maybe that kind of leads us into the second topic around how do you get at the data and measurement and um, yeah. no. analytics around that. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough one, but really probably sort of the next step in global mobility. The next step in HR and human resources and business in right. general. We all talk about big data and data mining. So how do we do that in global mobility? Uh, to some degree, what organizations do, they use existing data in HR IT systems more efficiently. But more importantly, what organizations start to do, especially organizations with larger mobility programs, they start uh, implementing global mobility specific applications right. that allow them to track all mobility relevant data. That can be demographic data, assignment related data, but cost data is very important. Co collecting all the compensation that's being paid by various pay sources to employees, collect that and be able to spit that out, report against it and provide management reporting. So the next time your VP of HR comes to you and asks you how much money do we spend on the mobility program, you actually may have an answer. All right, and then beyond that, the ability to, uh, to, to correlate that data to some of the non-cost data may result in some interesting uh, interesting conclusions and trends that you might be able to see. Absolutely. Why don't we move on to the definition of the family? Tell us what's happening there. Well, family is an interesting one. When we started the survey 15 years ago, uh, the definition of family was very traditional, very narrow. Only 70 or 18 percent of organizations allowed a broader definition of family. Now we have up to 50 percent of organizations who define family as traditional family, same gender um, um, marriages, as well as the sort of the non-legal uh, marriage and provide benefits to all these definitions. So a very, very important change. And again, where we see mobility sort of on the forefront, not only from a policy perspective, but really following social trends as well. I often see the mobility programs being at the, at the cutting edge of some of this definition around family. Yeah. Maybe just sum up for us the, the highlights. Okay, highlights. Um, obviously, focus on cost, but not just cutting costs, but really be more strategic in the policies you develop and develop the policies with your businesses and your business in mind. Um, data mining and data management, as well as you know the social impacts and social aspects of mobility. 
So if companies want to get in on the action and participate in the survey, how do they go about doing that? It's easy. Just go to kpmglink.com. You'll get your login information. You can participate in the survey right away. And the really cool thing is you get an email with your results and how they stack up to the marketplace data. So it's very simple and really beneficial for all program managers. Fantastic. Thanks for your insights today. Thank you.